there's a couple of things to think about within the game industry. First is that you're right. Everybody's talking about AI. Um, you know, it's how do I make my game development more efficient? How do I, how do I try to save costs? How do I get games launched uh, more quickly? Uh, but it is the game industry and it does take a lot of time to incorporate change. Um, and so if you think about like the demand for a lot of these things, what, what we're hearing is right now, it's just a lot of good ideas. Uh, we don't see a lot of implementation of a lot of these things. Uh, so I think we're still very early in the ultimate adoption of how you incorporate a AI into the game development. Uh, but I do think that five years, 10 years from now, I think we, we can see a seismic shift in both how games get made, how games get built, how games get played. Uh, and we're just now starting to have those early conversations at this conference. Now, in terms of game development, obviously it was impacted quite severely when it does come to COVID. We've seen following on from that, I suppose, a little bit less in the way of sales. Uh, are things starting to, to turn around now in your mind? Because, you know, you've always got the, the AAAs that are going to do remarkably well and have the money. But I'm talking about, like, you know, the mid-tier developers and to some extent some of the mobile developers. Are we seeing... Uh, requisite improvement and requisite improvement in, in sentiment that the worst is over? Definitely, definitely in sentiment. I, I, you know, we, we attended GDC last year and to your point, there was so a lot of consternation about Web3 and Metaverse and, you, you know, how to get games out the door when everybody's still working from home. This year, the sentiment is the exact opposite. There's a, a lot of camaraderie, uh, a lot of discussion uh, and excitement around games launching this year. We finally have you know, consoles available. You can actually find them on the shelf now. Uh, so a lot of the chip shortages are over. And so at the, so at the end of the day, I, I do think that 2023 is going to be, you know, the start of a multi-year, you know, return to growth for the industry. Um, and we've already started to see that early on, right? You had Hogwarts Legacy launch last month. Um, and it looks like it might have been the biggest launch since 2018 outside of the major annual launches. And, and, and you look at the rest of the year, there are some very big titles coming. You have Spider-Man 2, you have Starfield, you have Redfall, you have you know Zelda coming. I mean, it's just, it is just a long list of really big games scheduled for this year. And the sentiment at the floor is these games will actually come out and be on time and uh, and and you know kind of drive the overall industry back into the the growth category.